Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors, this is Oli, and thank you for stopping by and checking out this story review. As you can see here in front of you, this is the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Black Cat from the Spider-Man series. This is really cool, I got really lucky. Um, I'm kind of laughing at myself or with myself here because um, last week when I showed you the Spider-Girl video, I said to myself, yeah, I'm never going to see Black Cat, it's impossible to find, yada yada yada. The next day, I actually went to the store, and she was just standing, or waiting there on a peg, I should say, for somebody to pick her up. Luckily, that person was me. Um, since then, it's been almost a week. I, I, you know, I, I could have shot the video, but I just you know, was working a lot, so that's why it's almost been a week later uh, when you see this tonight or today. Um, yeah, um, after that, I've probably been to quite a few stores, and I always check on the, uh, you know, the, the action figure aisles, and never to be seen. So, uh, yeah, I just got lucky. What can I say? Um, it just happens with all of us. Uh, but, yeah, so in front of the package, as always, a very, very nice look of Felicia Hardy there. Um, side of the package, obviously, you got that standard Spider-Man picture. And on the back there, you have her and Spider-Girl, which is pretty cool. Um, and in the back there, you have these six figures to collect to get the whole series. Now, what's kind of... Um, really cool about um, what's happening, what, what happened to me now is the fact that um, I have, I'm only missing this guy here, uh, I'm sorry, Carnage, I'm missing Carnage, which he comes with the head. So at that point, when I get Carnage, I'm actually gonna have two heads, um, two torsos, and two left legs, um, because there's no army building here, I don't have extras. Um, it, you know, it's really up to me. Do I want to build a second Ultimate Goblin and maybe give it away or sell it or do something, do a trade with someone that might need it? Maybe. Um, picking up another um, Electro, um, Spider-Man, or um, even, you know, the um, Supreme Spider-Man isn't that too expensive. So, as of right now, again, picking up Karin, just, you know, obviously that's a given that's 20 bucks, um, And then to pick up copies, that's $60. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, they're very available. Um, I may do that. I don't know yet, though, but we'll see. Um, and the reason I'm kind of saying that is um, I, I know I'm kind of a little off topic. Um, with the Captain America, I, I do want to build at least two Mandroids. The thing is that I actually have three of the um, of the, the Hydra, the, the agents and the soldiers. So if I wanted to do, uh, do three Mandroids, uh, that would mean that I would have to pick up another two Captain Americas. I still don't even have um, Black Widow, so that's probably never going to happen. <laughs> that's three Black Widows. I would need two more of the regular Captain Americas so I can do the left leg. And I would need um, two more Winter Soldiers so I can do the right leg just to do um, three Winter Soldiers. It's probably like a $200 expense. Not including the fact that, again, at retail might not find her and she's already $40, $50 online. So why am I saying this to you guys? Oh, just in case if you like to army build, um, it's going to be a lot tougher to do this than it is to actually do an ultimate goblin. Um, I guess it's a little bit easier for the ultimate now that, again, I have two of her, uh, the, the two females that come with the torso. So we'll see. Um, so I was just kind of giving you guys just the dollars and cents of um, how Marvel kind of, I feel, kind of screwed a little bit, screwed us a little bit. Uh, but anyway, that's that. <laughs> let's um, open them up and uh, let's check it out. Okay, and there she is out of the package. Very, very cool action figure. Very, very sexy action figure, <laughs> to, not to say the least. Um, very well made. Um, again, you know, in terms of the posing um, females, uh, they're tough. I mean, she's pretty soft plastic. Um, it is tough to just to get her standing there, to be totally honest. Um, the original Marvel Legend um, stands don't work on these anymore as these guys do not have pegs on their backs. Uh, more than likely, you'll have to pick up the Mattel flight stands uh, where you can, you know, kind of have them hold their waist and stuff like that. Or, I believe, um, and I do have a few, and I really should have just brought it up for this review, um, you can also try the SH Figure Arts um, um, stands that they sell. They, they have a generic one where you get three in a package. Those are pretty nice. Um, that actually might work with these pretty well too, especially well again with the females. They have the smaller waist. Um, but other than that though, um, let's kind of get to her articulation. So anyway, so she's pretty typical. Um, one thing that I like, some people may not like, um, but I do. I appreciate it. Um, I like the fact that there's no um, waist articulation and that just 
because it doesn't hurt the it doesn't hurt the 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 look the um you know it, it doesn't like i don't know it just doesn't make her waist look ugly so i like how it's one part um here you do get some articulation that's fine where you know her rib cage is her abdomen um her hands can turn 360 as all marvel legends she can go up and down as you can see there she has elbow articulation all right and she can kind of go back a little bit more. It looks like it just got broken, but you know, if you want to do that type of scene where a baddie breaks her hand, her hand turns 360 there. Obviously, the other hand does the same thing. This is the claw scratching hand, the left hand, and then the right hand has the fist, so you can hold her whip. Her fingers are nice and pliable, so they move pretty easy. I don't know if you kind of just saw that there, but yeah, they're very very pliable. And you know, the the choke hold is good enough where it holds her whip um or not her whip really her what do they call these the cat's tails or whatever cat's claws um she can't turn her head but you know the head the 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 hair is pretty tough so what happens if you turn it too much it just kind of takes her out of the boy joint as you can see there but other than that though there's really no need to move her hair more than that her hair is beautiful it has this kind of nice blue wash there so obviously you can tell that it's not just all white and so it does have that little bit of streaks of blue, so you can kind of tell the difference. Her legs can go up and down, as you can see there. Her knees are dual joint, dual jointed there, which is really nice. Her shins do not move, it seems. Um, her um, sh um, shoes or feet can point up, point down, and they do have a pivot, which is pretty cool. And they will turn 360 also. Actually, no. Is there a pivot? Yeah, there is. I think there's a pivot. Or maybe it's just because the plastic's so soft. You know what? There might not be a pivot, so I do apologize. And her upper thigh actually can turn 360 there. So, yeah, it's pretty much that. There's not really that much more. Um, unfortunately, as of this recording, I kind of put away all the action figures because I'm, I'm building my first... Um, I'm building my five-tier um, um, IKEA stand so I can put all my kind of loose action figures up. So I don't, I can't show you what they all look like together. I know that on the one of the videos that I did, I kind of showed you what all the guys looked like together um, towards the end. But I saw, I can't do that now, unfortunately, where Spider-Man was um, outnumbered. What I do have on hand is I do have her, um, her um, kind of you know sister package. She's a little short, as you can see. She's a lot shorter actually, which is probably actually very um comic accurate which is really cool um of course she has heels so that helps while she's a little bit more flat-footed or i should say she is flat-footed so but that looks pretty cool that's that's just just about right i think so they did a very good job i think the only thing they share is i want to say is um the stomach and butt area um their legs uh felicia's are a lot thicker um as she should be because she is a, a grown woman um i believe this young lady here is a, a teenager so she's probably not fully developed yet or whatever uh, but yeah other than that it's cool let me actually try something weird i think the boy joints are different yeah i was right this is a lot smaller so it's no way in hell it's gonna fit there but you know you kind of have that look there this will definitely fit because it's big enough then you have her there <laughs> her head looks her head looks a little too big for this body though so there you go um yeah i definitely you know again the the ladies in this line well here in massachusetts and some of the people that i talk to um seem to be the harder ones to find i definitely if you see these girls and you're on your last 20 loss for the week and it's your lunch money you know what ramen noodle it just go grab her <laughs> Go grab the damn thing and ramen noodle it until you get paid again the next time um, but yeah guys as always thank you so much for watching this video please rate subscribe share comment all that good stuff i will see you guys later peace